guys welcome back to my channel how's everyone going today i am making bee soup and spaghetti guys one of the polynesia's ultimate favorites we'll miss our ultimate <laughs> hey us polys we love corned beef and spaghetti guys when there's no food and there's spaghetti and corned beef <laughs> bob's your auntie so I'm making that today. I think I made it before. I don't know. I've done so many videos, over 300 videos. So somewhere there, I think I've made this before. But guys, not bad. Okay, I'm gonna make it again. So I've got sliced um, onions. I got the Bisupo, the Pacific, New Zealand famous Pacific corn beef. Okay. And the spaghetti is Watties, New Zealand famous Watties spaghetti. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, and my lace of our guys. Right. Mm -hmm. I made the lace of lace, salted it, put the coconut cream in, and you know, like um, pounded a little bit, mixed it. You know how the islanders do it back at home in Samoa. My drink today is Coco Samoa and it's still hot. <laughs> Cheers guys, I just want to have a sip. Guys, I have to prepare all this. Now I need a, a smuggle. <laughs> I don't smoke guys. It's like an expensive wine. This Coco Samoa, mm. even though I've never drank an expensive wine, but I think Coco Samoa will be up there with that. Mm. Okay, okay, let's get this cooking started. Too much talky talky, stop it. So I put this on lockdown. Mm -hmm. This don't take long to heat up, guys, so better get it rolling. Anyway, put a little bit of oil yep just for the onion so it can brown anyway guys I just moved this away a little bit <coughs> I do not want any explosion to my face anyway I just chuck in the onion okay I don't want it sizzling too much you know guys, how's everyone been how's everyone going since yesterday's video. <laughs> Everything's A-OK -okay on this side of the, you know, land down under. Yep. And I hope it's the same with you guys. Hope God is watching over you guys, making sure that you guys are OK. You know? A little of an onion jumped on me and somewhere down there but rude just jumped out of nowhere how dear it anyway leave the an onion alone yeah so I got this bee soup guys I want you guys to see my delicious food I'm having today and my watchy spaghetti guys my kids complain if I go and get the Australian SPC. I like the SPC too because it's like a fatter spaghetti. Hey, I'm no fuss. But they like the Watsi spaghetti, guys. You know, most of my children didn't grow up in um, New Zealand, so. But it's because we always buy this can, you see. So if it's not Watsi's, they have a little bit of a whinge. See, whinge is an um, Australian word. <laughs> it would be with your Australia whinge a lot far now. Oka oka, it would be a whingy whingy. Guys, in life you have to make the most of it, eh? Make the most of it. If you're going to complain about every little thing that happens in your life, even the smaller stuff, you know, you ain't got to, you know, like, live life. You know, you can't complain. Just... Okay, that happened, you had to try and do something else, have a plan B. 
and a C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, E. K, Y, O, O, L, O, K, R, O, F, A, S, R, O. Guys, I know my alphabet. Just that it went that way, though. Hey. It's a little fear, fear of rhyme for Yalili, you know. Fear of failing rap like it. My favorite rap in all the raps in the in the world is that one. Rapper's delight. Now what you hear is not a test. Oh hang on. Not you hear is not a test. No, I'm a rocket to the beat. Yeah. Anyway, I don't even know if the words are right, but hey, I love it. Do you know back in those days when it was cassettes? Mm -hmm, I used to record it just to listen to it. I love Rapper's Delight. Mm -hmm. so, even though the onion wasn't as brown as I like it. But guys, there's no magic camera here <laughs> to say. But anyway, I've got a already made one. Hey, this girl ain't that rich for the, to get extra corn beef to do the uh, you know, so I already got one ready. No, it's a lovely coupe for you now, Mia. So, just have to make do. Oh, look at all the onions! Ooh la la. You know what, guys? I'm gonna chuck in the spaghetti. No mucking around. Just chuck in the spaghetti. Yeah. Wow. Come out, saucy. Come out wherever you are. So try and do this to me. Gonna pass you in a minute. Oh, look at that. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, go on, bubble, bubble. Man, hey, you're kidding me. Super kidding me. You know, we got our father into do, into uh, spaghetti and um, corned beef too. <laughs> in the beginning, oh, let me out. And then after that, it's oh, nice. <laughs> Just want to warm the spaghetti through. And, um, look at that, guys. Yep. Just simmering it, guys. Make sure it's extra, extra. I want to soften my onions. That's what I want to do. So what did you guys have for dinner today? Huh? Because it's dinner time over here, guys. So guess what's my dinner? It's corn beef and spaghetti. When we were teenagers, guys, and our mum and dad had a corn beef for us and spaghetti, we are happy, chappy, chappy. Anyway, guys, let's say a prayer so we can get this food done. Just to send thanks to loving God for the food that he blesses us with. Well, this one, I'm so blessed today. And look at my delicious Lisa Fa Popo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lisa Fa Popo and a Coco Samoa or a, a tea without milk. I remember my uncle that came and lived with us way back in the 70s, right? He used to make this quite a lot. If he didn't have lace of popo, he'll have like uh, cabin bread and coco samoa. I don't know what this is. This is here for. <coughs> uh, yeah. Root. Get, get over there. Anyway. Oh, you know what? I need to do a thumbnail. I need to do a thumbnail. Oh my gosh. Trying to show you guys my pearly whites. <laughs> Not even pearly whites, it's pearly summer summer now. Cause you know, the older you get, the more your um, teeth is not like pearly whites. But anyway, cool, yeah, leave us alone. If we don't have pearly whites, at least it can chomp chomp our food, right? Yeah, guys, it's time to eat. Wee, look at the smoke. Blowing you guys that aroma. Okay. Bit rude to eat out of a frying pan because our, our parents always said, eat on a plate, guys, eat on a plate. So, 
I got a plate. I uh, Kofia, ay maya, ah, kalofay, kalofay, ya ongosay, ongosay. Wait, loa, ni umas, wakus ko, fasi. This is for a popo, umo loa. And it's still delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bye. Wala, ya. Wait, you say, koi faise farm, nai ho farm, bol it. Yeah, love a lot of that. I'm a little lot there. I miss my spoon. Yeah, see, if I'm going to worry, I see move up while I'm here. So, so, you know, eh? Well, I'm going to fall, get a sauce on my ear. Yeah, yeah. I love that too. Yeah, sharing is caring, guys. That's the way we love it. Mm. Yeah, we'll walk my my be that little airway do I stop it? <laughs> my little fingers were burning guys, just in case you, you guys didn't know what I just said in Psalm 1. Mmm. Oh, it's good to have this. This is comfort people, all us fobs. <laughs> Mm. Always number one, number uno. <laughs> mm. I could share that for a cocolet. My sister was trying to instruct me how to make the kuku. I was thinking, do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Yes, I don't know how to make kuku properly. <laughs> she probably has made it way more times than me. Because, guys, my kids, like they, they lean towards their cookie side. So, they're not really into it. But my son Andre, yes, he loves Coco. Raymond, my nephew, he loves Coco Samoa. Mm. <laughs> I love going to Samoan houses and they serve you cook Samoa. Mm. I hardly make Coco Samoa at my house. This Coco Samoa, my son put it over. He went to the island shop and he thought that I might want one. So it's in my, been in my pantry until my sister found it and said, ha ha ha. So I thought, ha ha ha, I'm going to make it. <laughs> mm -mm. It's so delicious. Mm. I love it when there's heaps of onions, eh? What do you think? Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. My daughter and her partner just moved in their new house. And um, at first I thought, oh, you know, because I'm not going to be cooking in my nice kitchen. So guys, I won't be cooking in that nice kitchen of hers. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought about it, I said to her, you know your kitchen's been right around the world because it's even reached America. I hope America's doing, you know, like calm down a bit and make there be a change. Mm -mm. Guys, when I was telling you guys about, um, oh, anyway, guys, 
Listen, listen, shh. I want to go pizza. Why do I? Did I cut a little story? The story about the meeting of Fekwe and a Philly joint. It came out of nowhere. <laughs> I was going to roll the lettuce and the rice and the meat. And then I said, yeah, roll it like a joint. I thought, be quiet. Do not talk like that in front of the camera. Anyway, guys, that remind me of the story, right? I'll tell you the story about when I first tried, you know, the, the, the bad stuff. Bad stuff are good for some people, right? Mmm. Mmm, lovely. Anyway. Let me tell you. A long time ago, long, long time ago when I was 18, okay? Story time. <laughs> long time ago when I was 18, I used to work up in East Tamaki, in New Zealand, Auckland. Anyway, well, we normally go to the East Tamaki Tavern to have a drink, meet up with our friends and, you know, well, my work friends. Anyway, so when we start walking, they'll go off their own direction to go and have showers and then we'll meet up. But anyway, I thought, wow, I'll go to the pub first, right? And then from there, I'll catch a taxi and then I'll go and, anyway, because... There's a disco there that happens there, you know, it's not called disco these days, but well, I don't know, who said to take the word disco out of, you know, our everyday life, gosh, just good memories and a good name, disco, anyway, I thought I'll go there and have a feel of the place and it doesn't look like there's a, already a crowd there, how am I going to dress, you know, like, mm -mm -mm. should I dress, you know, like, or should I just dress like, because guys, me, I was single girl, so mm -hmm, got to check the place out. Anyway, stop it. <laughs> it's still if you're single again, stop it. Then my husband was just going, why do you have to tell that story? <laughs> anyway, shh. So, I'm walking up and there's this guy, right? He's sort of got long hair and it's, he's got a bag over his shoulder. It's like a material bag or something. So I, it's, this is right outside the front of the pub. So I see him and I think, oh, it looks a bit scary. So I'm going to walk that way. When I was walking that way, he was sort of like going sideways too. I thought, oh yeah, this guy want to play. He want to play Hong Kong Fui. Chop, chop. Nah. Anyway, don't be violent. Anyway, so the closer I got to the door, he was like, um, you know, like standing in my way. So I thought, okay, then just keep calm, keep calm, Faye. <laughs> it's broad daylight. Anyway, so he goes, hey. And I look at him and he goes, you want to score? Okay. I don't know the terms of um, like any marijuana or whatever, you know, that kind of stuff, right? I don't know the terms, but when I hear score, it's like, one, you score a goal in rugby, or score, you just scored your, uh, a darling, <laughs> a honey bun, sugar pops, anyway, shh, 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 Come on, how many ups? Ten dollars, ten dollars. And I go, what for? And he goes, for, you know, doing a, a hand gesture to, you know, like a smoke. And I thought, oh, it's the Maui Waui. <laughs> anyway, so I go, no, I, I, I don't, I don't smoke it. I don't, he goes, you have a brother that might smoke it? Do you have a boyfriend that might want to smoke it? And I go, no. Anyway, so he goes, and I go, I've never, I've never had any of that before. No, I don't want to buy any. I go, come on, it's only ten dollars, you know. So, because he was asking me, I thought to myself, oh, 
I want to support this guy. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. What's stupid? Anyway, that's how I felt. So, uh, okay then. It was payday. So, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll buy one. Okay, I'll buy one. <laughs> that one I thought. Okay. Anyway, when he was going to look for it, he was looking down under the bag, his bag that he was over his shoulder. It took a long time to look for it. And I thought, how many does he have? You know, like, he's digging that hard for it, so he mustn't have much. But anyway, so he finally finds it. And he gives me this line of, um, it's like a uh, wrapped up in foil, okay? Mm hmm So, I give him a $10, and he goes, okay, have a good night. Okay, okay, thank you. So I go inside. I put it in my bag. And then, so it's there. It's in there for, like, days and days. It's in my bag. I never, I never touched it. I only bought it because I thought I wanted to support him. Anyway, my um, security friend that was inside, no, he wasn't inside at the time, but he must have been at the back somewhere. So he walks up, and I figured to myself, should I tell Andrew what just happened outside? And I thought, oh, nah, you know, I helped him out, so by giving him $10, nah, don't, don't, don't tell on him, you know? So I didn't say anything. So this, this um, Mary Wary was in my bag, it was in my bag for days, even weeks. <laughs> but then I, um, I had put it um, on my windowsill and I placed a curtain. I thought I'd just leave it there one day. It might come handy for someone or something or whatever. Because my brothers don't touch that rubbish too, you know. Well, excuse you to the people that takes it and I'm here, here I am calling it it. Rubbish. <laughs> oh, mm, mm, mm. So, so one day, my cousin and I, my first cousin Tadia, we were at home, you know, and my mum and dad so we we're just talking about stuff, random stuff. Her and I, I really love my cousin. We just talk about random stuff, and then got to like. And I said, hey, I've got one of those. And she goes, where? And I go, I've got one, I've got one. Anyway, what a, what a bad influence. You know, but, you know, just out of fun, my cousin and I, we thought we'll get it together and, you know, roll up a joint. <coughs> so we did. Okay, we did. When I opened it up, I tell you what, this guy must have done, ripped me off because... Um, firstly, and when I opened it up, it was like all this, um, like crumbs, or is that how you buy it? I don't know, but I was telling a friend later on about what I bought, and he said, oh, no wonder he took a long time looking for it, because that's probably his, you know, like, offcuts that, you know. Anyway, so my cousin and I, we rolled it up, and... Um, yeah, we did it, you know. I'd swear it was only two puffs. It was only two puffs. I don't know how many my cousin took, but this is what... Because we saw it on Chicken chicken, chicken, chicken Chong or whatever. Those two actors, they, they pass it back and forth. Anyway, I took my first one, passed it my cousin, she took it. It's like, I only took it twice. And here's me. Telling my cousin, oh, pull me down. Pull me down, I'm flying. <laughs> and she's laughing, cracking away. And then she goes, oui, follow little Lily. She goes, follow little Lily. And it was honest, it was like, we're up here on the, on the roof. Not outside on the roof, in the ceiling. And I'll say to her, and she's cracking up. And then, and then, and then she grabs my arm. We're just sitting side by side, but in, in our useless brains that we don't know how to handle this thing, you know, I was like, <laughs> Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.
never forget that. That was one of my lovely memories with my first cousin, Dahlia. Miss her so much. Oh well. So that's what happened, right? Okay. Okay. I find out much, much later that, for one thing, my security good protective friend end up to be my husband's first cousin okay and excuse me i don't want to make my um my husband's cousin look bad not andrew but the guy that sold me that stuff was my cousin's oh was my husband's first cousin as well <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, and they were brothers. The security and the one. <laughs> nah, man. But uh, I don't know. You know, I tell you what. I'm sorry, but you know, life as it goes, you have to do the hustle. And if, if that was his way of making money, I'm not going to judge because I. Uh, that's his way of making money. It's not my way of making money. But just, and I know he had a job, I was told, but he still does it all, you know. It's okay, guys. No, it's not, but... <laughs> anyway, that's, a, that's the memories. It was so good. Anyway, my uh, dear, dear friend, Andrew Cecil, he's no longer with us in this world, but I tell you what, he's one person that I always felt safe around because he always took care of us. So when he saw me walking a year later with my husband, he goes, hey, to me. He goes, what are you doing with him? And I said, oh, yeah. And you know his advice to me? He said, if he ever touches you, you tell me. Oh, wolf. <laughs> oh, wolf. So it's a small world, guys. It's a small, small world. Anyway. Getting back to that thing. And that, that, that day with my uh, cousin Talia, that was my first time ever, ever, you know, trying out their stuff. And it was really scary because I don't want to ever fly up in the <laughs> ceiling again. It was really, really scary. I mean, far out. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm going to taste the pepper. I want to read you guys this, um, this uh, comment someone of you uh, um, left under the comment section in my, my video yesterday. I just want to read it to you guys. So I want to shout out... Um, to Paul Val Val Toki, okay? So this is the comment um, to Paul Val Val uh, left me. Okay, I appreciate this comment, I do, because it feels like, and all your other, all you guys, your followers' comments, they are so uplifting to me, and your followers' comments to other people is uplifting us so much and we appreciate it and we thank you all so very very much guys but i'll read you guys this one these are not reading glasses so i have to go about this so this one goes hey stop dang girl you know this is how i read it this is how i read it i'm trying to get into character as i read it okay hey stop dang girl you're the most beautiful in the whole entirely youtube world Oh, that is a bit high to lift me up that way, you know. But thank you so much. Thank you, Tupo. And then um, he goes, Your beauty and stylish, your cooking skills and talking story are phenomenal, extraordinarily beautiful. Can't even read it. And extraordinarily, absolutely, you nailed it, girl. You're an amazing person. At Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise, because I've called him a little shorty. Don't tell Tom. 
I don't want him to jump on a couch and kick me in the face or something, you know? Yeah. And it goes, Talofa to you, Faye, and much, much aloha. Food is absolutely beautiful. Yummy food. Cheers, mate. God bless always and your family. Oh, say God bless you and always and your family. Ah, uh, see, that is such a beautiful, I know, you know what, I tell you what, this is such a, such a lovely, lovely um, comment, guys. I read so many of oh, your wonderful comments. That's uplifting. Thank you so much. There's some of you guys that um, have channels. Keep on going, guys. Keep on going. I have faith in your followers' channels that you guys are Grow, grow, grow. That's my mom's uh, song she teaches everyone. It's read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow, grow, grow. Okay, guys, you all take care. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm going to go inside now, get my mom a bear. I'm going to hang out, watch some movies. I don't know if she's watching Mission Impossible. Even if she did, she'll probably think it's a new movie, even though she watched it yesterday. But thank you for hanging out with me, guys. This food is always delicious. Never fail. Never let us down. Okay, guys. Love each other. And thank you for always being there, supporting everyone out there. Don't forget, if you want to look up more Island Island uh, channels, hashtag um, PolyTube, guys. And if you want to look up, um, yeah, look up PolyTube and you'll see more of um, other Polynesians doing their, their videos. Um, and if you start one, guys, what are you waiting for? Get into the video. There's a girl that lives out here in Bidwell. She's thinking of starting her uh, mukbang ch channel. And I I saw her comment. I went there straight away. You know, for encouragement. Because, guys, we can all do it. You know, there's plenty of room for everyone in the, in the YouTube world. So, what are you waiting for? Start filming. Even use your phone, guys. Even use your phone to film stuff. It doesn't matter what it will be, except, you know, naughty ones, you know. If you're naughty, naughty, no. Nah. <laughs> Not that you're going to do naughty. Gosh, stop that with that finger pointing. Wait, Lua. Start you guys the channel. And I'll come and watch. Other YouTubers will come and uh, watch. PolyTube support will be out there as well. But you guys... Keep faith with the Lord because the Lord will always be there for us, okay? Ignore Satan. Satan is doing so, so much right now because his time is running out. Guys, always give thanks and thank you so much once again for the 700th time. I keep saying it because I just appreciate you guys, okay? Thank you so much. So far, so far. Kia manuia. Adios, amigos. Quantos, quantos. CC Sonorita. No, that's not a good boy. Hi, yay, yay. Tohani. God bless.